This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the 4 p.m. Stock Market Update right here on Tiger Financial News Network. Let's take a look at what we got going on in the market at the end of the day. The composite up about 0.6% at 18,791. You have the Dow Jones Industrial trading off about 0.13% at 43,389. Now, Steve Rhodes, he's the author of Mastering Probability, the host of Trader's Edge right here on Tiger Financial News Network at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. He came on the show with me uh, the past hour, we're gonna have that little excerpt, that clip up for you on our YouTube channel at Tiger Financial News Network, right there on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. He did a really interesting dive into the Dow itself, looking at um, you know particular price movements, if it closes at a certain time next Friday, what to expect from that. Really, I recommend checking it out um, if, you, if you didn't see that segment or you kind of just want to review it. It was very, very good. While you're there, consider giving that video a like and, and maybe subscribing to our channel. It helps us out immensely. You have the E-mini trading up about 0.4% at 5,919, trying to crack 6,000. Uh, yet again there, you have the SPY trading at 588.15. You have the DXY, that dollar, off about 0.39% at 106.24. You have crude oil up about 3.41%, you know, Regardless of what's going on with China, it's strong today right now, but still under that $70. I would also recommend if you guys have not checked out the Forex report, the Tiger Forex report, uh, Teddy goes through a lot of cool stuff along those lines. He's on with Tommy Wednesdays. Strongly recommend that's 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, let's see, real quick. Tesla finishing up 5.7%, trading at 339. He may benefit um, from some uh, policy shifts that Trump is going to have. And you see that as well, kind of echoed in Lucid as well. You can see right there up 6.47% trading at 214. That stock like can just do that. You know, it's almost like a great play to have, right? It, the thing just oscillates 10, you know, eight, 10% every, you know, few days. It, I don't know, maybe you could get something out of that. And then Rivian itself, well, it was up a lot higher today. <laughs> it's not anymore, this dog of a stock. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be back live tomorrow, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien, the morning market kickoff, followed by Basil Chapman at 10, Steve Rhodes in the Trader Edge at 11, you have Larry Pesavento at 1, and then I'll be joined by Basil and Tim Ord tomorrow at 3 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. Have a great rest of your evening.